tell me where we're going. I am lost, maybe I can come with you. Hi, I'm Alicia Kush and I am the artistic director of Little Match Productions. I've got a group called Babushka Cabaret and we were just out on the road doing a show called Happily Ever After for regional Queensland. When we found out we were doing this Western Circuit and we were going to regional remote and rural communities, we knew we had to do something that connected with a lot of people in that community. Hi, I'm Jill Usher from Muwa Shire Council in Charleville. I'm the RADF liaison officer there. RADF helped fund and present Babushka Happily Ever After. It kind of covered everything. It was really good. It was funny. It was just bawdy enough for everyone in the crowd, um, and bush crowds appreciate a bit of that. In your garden, in your So the feedback we got from the people in the room was overwhelmingly positive. Um, they enjoyed the light-hearted, fun, um, raunchy nature of the show. It was something that was loved by both males and females. So I loved the babushka performance. It was just, um, it was so funny. The music was fabulous and there was just so many layers of clever in it. The prickly path to grandma's house. Hi, I'm Luke Volker. I have just come back from touring regional Queensland as musical director of Babushka's Happily Ever After. We had so many people just saying thank you so much for taking our mind off things. Shows like Babushka bring a lot to a community like ours. We're in the middle of drought and, you know, things aren't always that great. So when you get the opportunity to have a light-hearted evening that enables people to just forget about everything, sit back and laugh. Hi, I'm Judy. This has been the most special tour that I've ever done. We just met so many people and, and we really just went out of our comfort zone and it really paid off. So while the Babushka team was in town, um, they spent a few days in Isisford. Uh, so they had the opportunity to actually get out and meet the locals. Uh, the locals kind of adopted them. Hi, I'm Bethan Ellsmore. I'm a, a performer, but also a creative producer with Little Match Productions. I've never seen the real outback of Australia. It was an incredible experience. For example, we spent a bit of time in Isisford. You know, it's, it's sort of a bit outside of Longreach and it's pretty much just one street. And I fell in love with it. The community really adopted them, which then led to that extra community participation. So they were like, oh, yeah, these guys are really great. We're going to go along and see the show. So, you know, and the longer a, um, a group are in the community, the more time they sort of meet a few people. And so there's sort of a real cultural exchange there. They really leave, um, leave a lot behind. People keep talking about it. And also it helps you network because you're finding a lot of people that they don't have time to perhaps nurture friendships and get togethers like they used to. What's happening out there in the audience, those, those connections, that interaction, that's what's important. A young couple who just came up to me afterwards and said, oh, that's just the best show. It was all good. Yeah, it was all really good. <laughs> yeah. It was an awesome show. It was awesome. It was a whole lot of fun anyway. We just had people coming up and saying, thank you so much. If I've learned anything from this tour, it. It truly isn't about us on stage, it's about them. You can go along and you can just recharge that battery for a little bit to keep you going. We're off to never, 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 never,